Well, we are in the lab this morning here at Diverse Dimensions, and we just got done scanning up this little plastic part in our CT scanner. But what I wanted to show you guys today was just a simple way that we go through some process um, development or process improvement with our clients for, uh, for injection molding. Um, but like this right here, uh, this part, when we CT scan it, we've got full coverage of everything, like down in the holes and all the, uh, the little gaps, little stuff down in here that you can't really even get with a laser scanner. I'll show you that here a second. If I turn on the data, turn off the reference model, notice this, our, our scan looks almost as good as what that reference model does. So what I wanted to show you guys today though was when we do a color map, I'll do, I'll activate the color map here a second. So here's our color map that's a full, um, full deviation color map of the entire part. But what our client wants to see is, hey, when I change my injection molding process, I want to know that I've improved this part overall. So what we do is we end up doing a pie chart to show that. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick way of doing this reporting. Now that I've got a color map showing, or I've got this deviation here, if you run over to the report pull down menu and you go to the creation of a pie chart from the active color map, check this out. If I go here, Polyworks just runs out there and it makes this color map. Okay, I'll make that a little bit bigger. But notice this, that color map is interactive. I can move it around a little bit. I've got a few things in here. But look at the percentages. I like this, all the percentages of what is on the active color map scale, which is here on the side. I've already got that put together. But what I've got is all of these percentages now. So we can use these percentages to determine whether a process has been improved or it has not. So these guys will go out and, and uh, work on their injection molding process and send us a couple more parts. And what we'd like to see is that the green uh, increases in percentage while the others will go down in percentage. So it is just a quick way to take a look at the at the variation percentages uh, based on these tolerances of the uh, of the entire part because we have scanned that entire part and we would like to see these percentages decrease.